Welcome to the Antron Carpet Fiber Educational Series. In this edition, you'll learn about a key carpet performance attribute, stain resistance, and three key factors that impact it, carpet fiber type, dye method, and stain resistance application methods. A stain is simply unwanted dyeing of a part of carpet, often resulting from spilled food or drink. Let's face it though, spills are gonna happen. It's for this reason, stain resistance is one of the top performance attributes that's needed in commercial carpet. Let's take a closer look. Three key factors impact stain resistance. The first is carpet fiber type. Chains of molecules that make up fiber that's often referred to as a polymer. The two primary carpet fiber types in commercial spaces are nylon 6 and nylon 66. A nylon type 66 polymer has a tighter molecular structure and lower permeability to staining substances. The benefit of a type 66 polymer is its performance, specifically that it provides exceptional resistance to crushing and matting, heat and friction, and stain penetration. The nylon type 6 has longer hydrogen bonds and a more open polymer chain alignment, leaving the structure more susceptible to staining. Type 6 is easier to dye, but if you are trying to prevent a spill from becoming a stain, that's not necessarily a benefit. The next factor to impact stain resistance is dye method. The most common dye method used in commercial carpet is solution dyeing, where pigment is added with the polymer and becomes a permanent part of the fiber structure. A white dye method, or the submerging of white carpet or yarn in a dye or color bath, can be dyed to any color. White dyeable yarns or carpets typically are not as color fast or as stain resistant as those produced through solution dye. Solution dyeing doesn't guarantee stain resistance, but it does allow more time for cleanup before a stain occurs. The last factor is stain resistance application methods. There are two primary ways to apply stain protection. The permanent method in stain protection is called sulfonation, which is added directly to the polymer, becoming a permanent built-in part of the fiber structure. You may also hear it referred to as cationic, often explained as a repelling force against staining substances. Antron solution dyed fiber offers the highest level of sulfonation. The second way to apply stain protection is by means of a topical stain treatment, often applied by means of a foam or spray directly to the surface of the tufted carpet. Testing shows this protection method typically wears off in time with wear and deep cleaning such as hot water extraction. Let's take a look at the industry standard method of stain testing. We use the American Association of Textile Chemists and Colorists, or AATCC, TM175 test method, also known as the Red Dye 40 test, to determine stain resistance. We take a nylon type 66 and type 6 solution dyed carpet sample. The Antron solution dyed sample utilizes stain resistance that's built into the polymer, while the nylon type 6 sample utilizes a topical application. Samples are first hot water extracted twice, according to AATCC TM171 protocols, to demonstrate the temporary protection that topical stain treatments provide. Both carpet samples are placed with a red fruit beverage for 24 hours and then cleaned only with water. As shown, the nylon type 66 carpet sample is more resistant to stains than the nylon type 6. Carpets of Antron solution dyed nylon type 66 can have up to 10 times better stain resistance than carpets of the leading competitive solution dyed type 6 nylon. All Antron solution dyed fibers must score 8.0 or higher on the AATCC Red 40 Stain Scale to be certified as a carpet of Antron. With a lower permeability, Antron Type 66 nylon slows down the diffusion of stains, helping in cleanup of a spill before it becomes a stain. For unbeatable, long-lasting performance in stain, soil resistance, and texture retention, Specify Antron Lumina Nylon Type 66.